Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Helman. It's been a while, it's been about a week since I have posted a video. I've been a little bit busy here at work myself. Um, but right now it's the time that I'm gonna go over about your phone skills, okay? Holidays are coming up, everything is coming up, okay? Some people are gonna come in, walk into the door, we'll get lucky. But what we need to do right now at this point is get that conversation on the phone, get somebody over here, see face to face. From there on, it's all easy. Your tone of voice, okay? I'm gonna go over a few stuff, but your tone of voice matters the most than you think, actually. Okay, it means more than anything, um, more than your sales pitch, more than everything that you could possibly think of is your tone of voice, how you talk to that person on the other line, how that person is hearing you, and everything on from there. If your tone of voice is flat, it lacks any sense of enthusiasm, how do you expect the other person to ever show you interest in your call? Be interested that the fact that you're making this phone call, be interested that you're so excited right now that you want the other person get excited by your tone of voice. The second thing is gonna be on here is use the person's name. How many times are we on a phone conversation that we have talked over 20 semi minutes and we still do not know this individual prospect's name? We have to know what their name is, the reason he is here because we need to repeat their name over and over and over. Remember guys, on my previous video, I have gone over this, that the fact that in order to build report, you have to say their name. They have to like you. You gotta engage in that. So people always love to hear their name. So use it. In a typical telephone call, I want to use the other person's name. Almost universally, that means the person's first name three times. In a phone conversation, okay, in your phone conversation, if you have not repeated the customer's name at least three times, okay, then you might not have built as much as report. That's the rule. Try to say the person's name three times, okay, and I'll go over that. Unless there is no other way, avoid, avoid negotiating anything over the telephone you will lose you're not going to be in a control on there so avoid negotiating over the phone since you can't see them you don't have the advantage of using the body language as a tool to help you negotiate guys body language is what makes me deals okay that's the number one sales tip that you have to learn is how to communicate looking at the body. A person could be telling me one thing from their mouth, but their body is telling me something else. I read body language, okay? Don't negotiate unless you can read body language. If you do have to negotiate over the telephone, use pauses and your tone of voice in the same manner as you would in a face-to-face -face negotiation. Don't always allow yourself to be sucked in into a quick negotiation just because you're on the telephone. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Helman. It's been a while, it's been about a week since I have posted a video. I've been a little bit busy here at work myself. Um, but right now it's the time that I'm gonna go over about your phone skills, okay? Holidays are coming up, everything is coming up, okay? Some people are going to come in, walk into the door, we'll get lucky. But what we need to do right now at this point is get that conversation on the phone, get somebody over here, see face to face. From there on, it's all easy. Your tone of voice, okay, I'm going to go over a few stuff, but your tone of voice matters the most than you think, actually. Okay, it means more than anything. Um, more than your sales pitch, more than everything that you could possibly think of is your tone of voice, how you talk to that person on the other line, how that person is hearing you, and everything on from there. If your tone of voice is flat, it lacks any sense of enthusiasm, how do you expect the other person to ever show you interest in your call? Be interested 
that the fact that you're making this phone call, be interested that you're so excited right now that you want the other person get excited by your tone of voice. The second thing is gonna be on here is use the person's name. How many times are we on a phone conversation that we have talked over 20 semi minutes and we still do not know this individual prospect's name? We have to know what their name is, the reason he is here, because we need to repeat their name over and over and over. Remember guys, on my previous video I have gone over this, that the fact that in order to build report, you have to say their name. They have to like you. You got to engage in that. So people always love to hear their name. So use it. In a typical telephone call, I want to use the other person's name. Almost universally, that means the person's first name three times. In a phone conversation, okay, in your phone conversation, if you have not repeated the customer's name at least three times, okay, then you might not have built as much as report. That's the rule. Try to say the person's name three times, okay? And I'll go over that. Unless there is no other way, avoid, avoid negotiating anything over the telephone. You will lose. You're not gonna be in a control on there. So avoid negotiating over the phone. Since you can't see them, you don't have the advantage of using the body language is a tool to help you negotiate. Guys, body language is what makes me deals, okay? That's the number one sales tip that you have to learn is how to communicate looking at the body. A person could be telling me one thing from their mouth, but their body is telling me something else. I read body language, okay? Don't negotiate unless you can read body language. If you do have to negotiate over the telephone, use pauses and your tone of voice in the same manner as you would in a face-to-face -face negotiation. Don't always allow yourself to be sucked in into a quick negotiation just because you're on the telephone. Show the same level of respect the gatekeeper or any other person who answers the phone as you would show the person you're looking or talking at, okay? You don't know who the decision maker is here, okay? Just because you're calling on looking for Bob on the phone, okay? Because that's the prospect that you're calling for. Answer the same way if it, it was Bob they're calling. If Mary answers the phone, for example, let's just say, you need to be just as excited because Mary could possibly just have so much say in this deal more than Bob could. But what you're thinking mentally right there is all you're thinking is about Bob. Show just as respect for the gatekeeper or any other person who answers the phone. Use descriptive words. That when you're talking, you know, whatever you need to do, but you mentally need to be an artist here, okay? You have to draw a picture. Remember, the other person can't see you. So it means that picture that you're painting has to come in with words that says how you say it, okay? Always have that person's name and a name of their company or a piece of paper in front of you as you call, okay? That's another mistake, guys. We, how many times do we call somebody and we get stuck of the fact that what we were talking about, who we were talking to, what we were talking about, everything needs to be noted down when we're calling somebody, okay? So always do that. It means that the picture that you paint has to come up exactly as you're saying in your brain in front of a customer by words. Last thing that you want to do is accidentally forget what you have called for. Just as the answer. Or even worse, calling Bob and you ask for James. How many times has that has happened? It's because we're not prepared. We're not prepared to make this telephone, to make this prospect, okay? Make this phone call, whatever you need to do. So two, it's going to be, the other one is going to be here I'm going to talk about 
okay, is limit the background noise. Okay, why do I mean by that? Okay, all right, some background noise is fine, okay, but the last thing you want the other person to hear when you're calling is loud music or sound of an informal activity is going on in the background. It happens at the dealership all the time, guys. It happens all the time, okay? For example, you're in an internet department, you're a BDC department, you're wherever you are, okay? You're making this phone call and if some people are behind you are talking, people to the side are talking, but the guys, what, you need to, what this needs to happen, either you need to make the phone conversation right there and you tell your coworkers that the fact that you are making a phone conversation and you would want them to respectfully respect your time and not speak at that minute, or go outside and make a phone call to where you can actually take control of the noise around you. Okay, if the phone call is important, stand up when you make it, okay? Now, if you're making this phone conversation for a car sale, if you wanna sell a car, which typically why we wanna call somebody, okay? Or anytime you wanna get somebody excited, okay, that you wanted to do Whatever you want them to do that you want to think of is stand up, okay? Talk with your hands. Guys, you think a lot better when you're talking with your hands. And, and it's amazing how much energy you get to focus when you have your, when you, if you're standing to make an important phone call. Try that. Never be the first person to hang up, guys. That's the, the, one of the worst things here is that can do. Okay, you never know what's going on. You never know what you hear. Okay, over here you can remember, guys. You want to be in charge. Don't don't hang up. Let that person hang up. You need to listen to everything. Okay, never be the first person to hang up on the telephone. Always allow the other person to disconnect first. You never know when the other person might just share with you one more important piece of information that could just make that deal. Okay. Be quiet when the other person disconnects. You gotta be here, be able to hear when they disconnect. Many times a person will think that they have ended a, the call when they have actually not disconnected yet. Okay? You might just be surprised with yourself with what you hear from the other end, okay? Don't be distracted. Don't be distracted by emails or any other popping up on your computer while you're making a call. Be focused because you can't see them. It's easy to become distracted with your eyes. Allowing yourself to become distracted may easily cause you to miss a key point. Okay. Second thing is here. Remember guys, I also told you to keep that note piece of paper with you, okay? I told you to keep that piece of paper with you to where you're noting everything. Why? For this step. You need to reaffirm everything again, 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 and yet again, because you're the only communicate, you're only communicating with your voice, means you must very reaffirm everything. Use open-ended questions. If you do not know, guys, what open-ended question is, I, I'm gonna just plan out tell you that you need to practice that, okay? Because it's a very important on a telephone. Open-ended question is a way to build dialogue, okay? You control the conversation with open-ended questions. Just because you're talking with someone on a telephone does not mean that you can't use open-ended questions. Here's my favorite one right here. Don't make an important telephone call from a telephone that is not stable. Whether that would be a cell phone, you know, that's out of reach, out of coverage, weak signal, quality counts here, guys. Quality counts and it represents you, okay? If you have a low battery on your cell phone, don't make that call. Plug that phone in and make sure that you can make this call and go through the whole thing. Do not hang up, okay? Any sort, that's loss of power, whatever the case may be, okay? Always answer the telephone with a boat enthusiasm at a pace, words per minute, 
okay? You gotta pace yourself. How many words you say per minute, how you say it, have that enthusiasm. This needs practice. That allows the other party to know exactly who it is that they're talking to. Too many times people who answer many phone calls each day gets into a habit of answering quickly, uh, resulting in their own words, slurring together, making it hard for the other person to hear who they're talking to. Okay? And you might have been talk, uh, calling people for hours. You're probably really tired. But guys, guess what? But guys, guess what? This person that you just called does not know that. This person has, you need to react to the same way for this person as if this was your first phone call that you came in and made it today. Every single phone call that you make has to be treated that way. Keep a mirror at your desk, guys. If you have to, keep a mirror at your desk, okay? It allows you to see yourself talking. It's amazing how much energy you will put into a phone call when you can see yourself. And it's true. Right now, at this second, if I'm seeing myself even talking to you right now, I have, I have a little bit better energy because I, I know what I'm doing. I'm controlling. I'm taking energy. I'm taking control of what I'm going to say. Put a mirror. It's got, it, it doesn't, a lot of the dealerships nowadays have windows around us. Like, do that. Talk with your hands. I'm doing it all the time. It's amazing what these little hands can do. Talk with your hands. It allows you to convey more energy in your voice. Use a high quality headset, okay, to allow you to talk with your hands. Okay, a lot of the dealership might not have the headsets. You could put the phone, like I said, get a Bluetooth, get whatever you need to do. Guys, it's so important. That's why a lot of e-commerce, a lot of telemarketers and everything that you see, they have a headset on. Okay, and it's proven that showing your hands, moving your hands, talking with your body helps you a lot more than anything else. Okay, body language is very important to do. Again, guys, so these are where the steps that I kind of went over with you that kind of shows you how to make a telephone call, okay? It's important. You guys gotta remember, this little phone that we have, okay? Nowadays are so important, okay? It is so important to keep a nice telephone with you because it's the money maker, okay? You guys gotta remember that we are right now in 21st century, okay? Your phone is your money maker. If you're in sales, okay? If you're in sales and you do not have a smartphone, Okay? If you're in sales and if you do not have a smartphone, you're leaving money on the table. You're literally leaving money on the table if you're in sales and you do not have a smartphone. Guys, there's so much stuff that we could do with this smartphone. Okay, Your text messages, your videos, your face-to-face on face -to -face time, okay? your face-on-face -face with the customers. Everything that you could possibly do is on this gadget right here. It's a money maker. Okay? Help yourself. Invest in yourself. If you're carrying a flip phone or pager, let's just say, for example, hopefully nobody has that right now because that's completely outrageous. But you guys have to have a smartphone. Invest in yourself. Don't worry about this couple hundred bucks. Okay, If you're worried about a couple hundred bucks, you're never going to get where you want to go. Okay, Invest in yourself on that one. Any smartphone that can... Uh... So guys, go ahead and hope this video has helped you out quite a bit on here. Um, you know, take these advices, okay? Um, I know a lot of my own coworkers at work, they ask me uh, what to do that they can do a little bit better for themselves. I encourage you guys to watch these videos, okay? Thank you again for watching my videos. Um, please, uh, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and put them on there. All I ask of you guys to be is just a little bit respectful of whatever you do put on there, and I'll do my best to answer any questions you have. Thank you guys. Good selling.